Hey guys, so today I wanted to film a video for you today about all of my favorite thrifted or pre-loved items. I have eight items here, things that I bought on Poshmark or found at a thrift shop and I wanted to share them with you. Okay, so first things first, this is a pair of these technically were not bought at a thrift shop but they are a part of urban outfitters urban urban <laughs> urban renewal program where they take old vintage items and they kind of make them new again so these are my favorite favorite pair of okay second favorite pair of jeans so these are levi's crossover jeans so these were originally 505s and they were remade to have this crossover button situation right here. So it's got three buttons right here that pop open anytime I wear these, so it's a little frustrating, but they make my butt look so good. They're so flattering. They're a perfect like 90s fit. They're very fitted on top of my waist and butt, but also very loose on the bottom, which I love. So I love these so much. These um i think i got a size large yeah so a 36 32 i don't know i don't know if that's accurate since they took a lot of the waist out and then crossed it over so uh, all i know is that i got a size large on urban outfitters um i think they're still available and you can get 10 percent off if you sign up for your first like a first email through urban so there you go there's a little money saving opportunity but yeah these are great i love them so much um so yeah i wanted to get these out of the way first because they weren't technically thrifted but they are vintage so so moving on so my next item that i bought actually at goodwill are these zara boots i've had these for three years and they look great on the bottom that's amazing when i bought these these still had the tag on them and they were I think the the retail they were retailed at 149 like something ridiculous because they're genuine leather and I got them for $17 at Goodwill. I wore these and I still wear them occasionally, but I wore these for Gigi. Sorry about that. I had to take Gigi's mouse away because it it makes so much noise and he's so bad. <laughs> he's had enough of me. Okay, so moving on to Poshmark. These are the items that I've purchased on Poshmark. Uh, the first item is this Teak Rancher Lack of Color hat. So I previously had bought a full price hat from Lack of Color. I think it was the Juno Boater hat in cream and I loved it so much but it was too small. So the big bummer about ordering from Lack of Color is that it it's an Australian brand, so it takes like two weeks to ship to you. And then it's pretty expensive shipping. I think it's like 15 or $20 just to ship it. And then you have to wait two weeks. Where typically if you order anything here and you pay $20 shipping, it's like next day air. So it took a while for it to come and it didn't fit. So that was such a bummer. So I found this, which is what I originally wanted. I originally wanted this brown uh, teak rancher, but it's like consistently sold out on on the site which is so annoying but it's obviously it's a great hat that's why it's always sold out so i found this on on poshmark for 95 dollars. i think she originally had it up for 115 the best part about poshmark is that you're able to haggle with the sellers so yeah i love this thing i wore this I mean, it looks kind of funny with my low bun. I'll wear this all summer and all fall and I love it so much. So back in March, I, Jared and I were going to Miami. So I needed some more swimsuits, obviously. First, I found this brand that I really liked. It's also another Australian brand. It's called um, Some Days Lovin'. And I know they sell on like um, ASOS and Revol. It's a pretty pricey swim brand. So I found this um one piece that has a pretty deep v and it goes in the back like this it's so cute and frilly and the pattern is just beautiful i love the blue and white um i think it originally retailed at 120 129 something around there and i got it for 28 which i think is just such a steal i mean 
even these days, if you go to Target, you can't get a one-piece bathing suit for $28. So super happy about this. I wore it all summer and will wear it when we go on vacation in December. So I'm very happy about this. Next up is another Sunday's Eleven uh, two-piece bikini. So again, this is pretty pricey on the site. I think it retailed for like one, one sixty, including top and bottom. So I got this for both items for twenty-five dollars on Poshmark. So it's this beautiful bikini. It's got this um like nude illusion mesh overlay i love this thing so much it is so flattering i mean a high-waisted anything i'm it's mine show it to me i'll buy it <laughs> anything to hide and suck in anything that i have i'm all for so i wore this a lot this summer and i'm very happy with it and i know you might be thinking oh like i don't know if i would want to buy a hat or bikinis from someone on poshmark like who knows like what is going on with that so my best advice at least with um clothing is to ask for pictures from the inside especially if it's a bikini so like not to be gross but i don't want there to be like any stains in the bottom so i did ask this particular posh marker to um to show me to upload pictures of what it looks like on the inside that way i know um when i get it there's not gonna be any surprises so that's what i did with these and then the hat i just did like a really thorough cleaning i washed it with a washcloth i got this like special spray that i can't remember the name of i made sure that it was clean so my next item i kind of feel a little guilty about i'm not gonna lie um but i've had it for so long that it's like i don't i don't want to get rid of it just for principle, I want to keep it because it is a beautiful item. It is this vintage rabbit fur coat. So I, I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but it's literally like shedding. It's all in, the, it's like in the air. Oh my God. Um, so I bought this in Plattsburgh in high school. So I think I was a, I think I must've been a junior. So that would have been like 2011. I walked by this this uh, antique shop that is in downtown Plattsburgh. It's been there since I can remember. Um, but I got it for $20 and I wear it all the time. Every winter, anytime there's like a, uh, an event I go to or I need something a little bit more upscale, I'll put this over it. It's so stunning and I don't want to toss it out just because it's fur. I would never buy fur going forward. I'm not like into like the Canada goose jackets or like anything like that So I do this is like the one piece of clothing that I own that's fur and because it's I think I I think on the tag I think when I got it the guy I don't know if this is true now that I'm thinking back He could have just told me anything. I think he told me this is from the 1940s And I mean it definitely looks like it from like the tags and stuff so it is super old and it's just beautiful and I love it a lot Oh my god, I completely forgot. Okay, so my second pair of vintage Levi's I'm actually wearing. So this is what they look like. They're just like classic 505s. They're pretty loose up here, but still fitted right in the waist, which I, I have a little bit of a problem with typically because I have such a big butt and like fuller thighs. I got these for... $17 at a thrift store in Park Slope, I think. I think it was in Park Slope called Beacon's Closet. They also have another location in Williamsburg, but it's a great vintage shop. And my advice is if you're going thrifting and just try on as many pair of Levi's you can find because these are a 26 and I'm not, I'm not a 26. They are a 505. I'm not sure if that if that fit is they run big but i'm i don't think i've ever been a 26 so my recommendation is just to try them on because i they will surprise you i think i got them on sunday and i've worn them at least four times this week so <laughs> and it's always great to buy vintage items because every it's so sustainable and you're not going out and you're not just buying the same things that everyone else has i'm not contributing to waste i am reusing my items anything and i will say for as much as i shop on poshmark i also sell so much on poshmark so i will link my poshmark down below because i am constantly like rotating out my closet i am not the type of person that 
buy something and hold on to it if I'm not gonna wear it. I am very much a happy seller. <laughs> I'm always, always uploading these things, so I'll link that down below. Last but not least, I have had this obsession with this bag for about a year now. I first saw it, I think in like January or February on a bunch of bloggers on like a press trip that they all went with this particular brand and I was just like enamored by it. It is so stunning and I found it with uh, with an incredible deal. <sighs> My Chloe bag. Ah! <laughs> I Okay, my poor Jared. I have been talking about this bag for a year now and I have not stopped bugging him about it. Like, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? Should I save money? Should I pay off my credit card? Should I pay my student loans? Or should I just buy it because I love it so much? Um, I, when I was in Ireland, I went to this department store. I think it's like, I don't know. It was the only department store in, in Dublin that I found that sold like luxury items like this one. I think it was called Thomas Brown or Brown Browns, something like that. But they only had it in black and like the taupey white color. I've been looking at this like deep brown for a very long time. And so when I went to Ireland, I didn't have it and I wasn't gonna settle, so I didn't buy it. And then I have been stalking it online at like Rebag, The Real Real, um, Bag, Borrow and Steal. And recently I saw on Rebag that they had the Ombre Sea Bag. This is what this is called, the mini Sea Bag. They had the Ombre Crocodile, which is like yellow into orange into red. And it is, it's so beautiful but it's so expensive because it's it's pretty remarkable and rare because it's sold out again like everywhere anytime i looked for it it was sold out so they had it online for 1300 which is a lot for a bag like i'm i'm not the i'm the first one to to not buy something because it's too expensive i am on a i'm balling on a budget here i'm not made of money so i i said no to that one even though like I still think about it to this day. But I am a big advocate for treating yourself. I think it's so important to set a goal and figure out how you're gonna make that goal. So this is definitely something that I treated myself with and I'm so happy about it because not only did I find it on sale, pre-loved, but I found it with a discount code, which I mean, that would never happen at Chloe. Chloe.com would never just have like a 30% off sale. I found this on Bag Borrow or Steal. I think it was, um, I think it was like 1100 or something like that. And I found a 30% off coupon and it ended up being like 769 with tax and with shipping. I did pay for two day shipping. So it would have been a little cheaper, but I am super impatient when it comes to shipping. So I bought two day shipping and it just came in the mail and I love it so much. It is so cute. You can wear it like a top handle or as a crossbody, you can make this longer. Um, it is super small, which I really like. I'm into these like small bags, but it, it looks like it holds a lot. I mean, it definitely holds my phone. It can hold my wallet, my keys, everything like that. So I'm just so in love with this thing. And you're going to see this a lot on social media because I don't, I mean, as much as I want to wear it everywhere, I'm also scared to like touch it. <laughs> like I don't want to ruin it at all. It is so pretty. So happy so those are my favorite thrifted items i thought i had eight but i guess i have seven um but yeah thank you for sticking along and watching this video and if you have any questions about um any sites that i've used or if you're nervous about ordering on poshmark or pre-loved items on luxury sites i am here to answer any questions uh subscribe to my channel like this video if you want to see more from me and uh, as always follow me on instagram that's where you'll see the most content and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.